What's happening guys, my name is Neil and today I want to talk about whether or not you need to be analytical or creative when it comes to YouTube ads and this one's going to pertain to media bars especially who are looking to get into YouTube ads. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. So my name is Neil, I run Lynx Digital, which is a company that focuses on helping six and seven figure entrepreneurs and businesses grow to eight figures with YouTube ads. And in today's question, what we're going to be looking at is what sort of characteristics do you need to succeed with YouTube ads? And if you had to pick one, whether you were being analytical or creative, which one would I pick? Well, the easy answer for me to cop out on would be to say both, but if I really had to pick one, I would say you have to be a little bit more creative than analytical when it comes to YouTube ads. So if there's a skill that you could master first, I would recommend creativity. And the reason for this is because YouTube ads are not like any other advertising platform, right? When you look at things like Google PPC or Facebook or Instagram ads, even LinkedIn ads, YouTube stands on its own. PPC ads are static, LinkedIn ads, yes, you have a little bit of video there, same with Facebook ads, but they're not really meant for video, right? Let's take a look at Facebook, for example, like it's not a platform meant for video and the videos that come on the platform on your content feed are usually a lot smaller and they're not the focus of the page, right? And so the real estate that you're occupying on Facebook is a lot smaller. Even on Instagram, a platform made for photos and videos, it's not really that or oriented towards videos because they kind of cap those videos with their stories and uh, reels, right? They have to be within a certain time limit. And that's why YouTube is very, very different because the entire platform, especially in stream skippable ads are designed around the content that goes on the platform. So the content that's on the platform resembles the ads. And that's why YouTube is very different than some of these other ad platforms. That brings me to my next point, which is YouTube is mostly video. And if we've heard that saying before that a picture is worth a thousand words, well, what's a video? It's a bunch of pictures put together in a really fast sequence. So it must be worth a million words. So that's why I think uh, being a little bit more creative plays out better on YouTube than some of the other ad platforms. Now let's look at being analytical on a different platform like say Facebook. On Facebook, I would argue that you have to be a lot more analytical and uh, numbers oriented when it comes to running ads than you have to be creative. And the reason for this is if you take a look at some of their ad types, because they offer a lot of different ad types and a lot of static ad types, you, you can actually get away with not being as creative, right? If you're using a lot of images, you don't have to be as creative. If you're using carousel ads, you know, the right column ads, those things are mostly text anyway, so you don't have to be that creative. And then the second point is on Facebook, your targeting is so much more detailed than it is on AdWords, right? Uh, Facebook is known for having really, really detailed targeting parameters. Their pixels are a lot better. Their remarketing is a lot, lot better. So you definitely have to know your numbers and you have to be able to interpret that data a lot more. On YouTube, those things are not as thorough, right? And that's why you have to rely on being creative a bit more. On Facebook, you can go really into granular detail when when it comes to your targeting demographics, your devices, your bids, your type of bidding and all of that stuff. Uh, whereas on YouTube, uh, just because, you know, the YouTube ad platform is not as detailed, it kind of limits that. Now, this brings me to my most important point on YouTube. Content is king. And this is where I want to make the bulk of my argument, uh, which is on YouTube, you can get decent results with amazing ads and kind of weak analytical media buying, right? You, your media buying and your uh, actual ad targeting and stuff can be a little weak, but if you have an amazing ad, you can actually get pretty okay results. Now, these aren't gonna be the best results, obviously, but you can still do an okay job. You can have the best detailed media buying, the best targeting, the best remarketing options, all of that stuff. But if your ads are terrible, you're not going to be able to run anything at all. You're not going to get any results at all. So it puts a little bit more of an emphasis on the ads because it's the ads that drive results. 
in combination with media buying, right? So the ads come first. And that's why I recommend focusing on creativity first. And if there was a trait that I would recommend mastering first, it would be creativity over analytics. Because you can kind of overcome weak analytics with certain frameworks. And this is stuff that we kind of teach in our course, right? You can learn a lot of the analytical part of media buying a lot easier, right? Uh, you can take a look at things like click-through rates, view rates, cost per leads, and all those metrics, and be within a certain frame to know if you're doing a good job or not, right? You can get certain guidelines, like we just talked about, like click-through rates to know if you're doing a right job, right? If your ad and your creative is amazing, all you need to do is make sure that your ads are measuring up to these things. For example, click-through rate, we say anything over 1.2% is, is pretty good. So that's kind of like the benchmark that you're aiming for. And you can kind of guesstimate and do a pretty decent job if your ads are actually really, really good. Now, I am going to plug in a course because this is something we actually really, really, really focus on um, and we kind of teach. This is the entire purpose of the Lynx Digital Expert YouTube Ads course. Uh, we teach you exactly how to work around these frameworks, get these guidelines, learn how to be analytical so you can understand the data of your AdWords account and really manipulate it to your advantage. And then the other side, we also teach you how to make epic creative. If you don't have a creative bone in your body, we teach you what sort of ads uh, and tips and tricks that you can actually employ to make your ads stand out, right? These could be little things that are done in post-production that make a huge difference, even if you are not creative. So if you're interested in learning more about the course, I highly recommend clicking the link in the description below and scheduling a call with one of our demo team that will show you everything that's inside the course and maybe that will get you to be more creative and more analytical at the same time. In conclusion, I think being creative holds a little bit more weight on YouTube ads than it does being analytical. And if you have to pick one to master first, I would definitely focus on creative first. With that guys, uh, that's the entire video. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, a lot more videos are coming out. So be sure that you guys are tuning in for that. And with that guys, have a great rest of your day. I'm out.